Well, good evening, good morning, depending on where you are around the world. This is Aaron Bailey with Team Influence. We're going to have some huge amount of fun today. We're going to bring the fire, going to bring some incredible value. So stay tuned. Do we wish we were launched right now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're all waiting for that email, that text message. When can we upgrade? And yeah, that's going to be any day now. And so stay tuned for that. Um, the very, very, very second that I hear, hey, upgrades are happening. We're going to be pretty busy on the socials, in the Facebook group, um, communicating that. And as you guys are probably up to date now, you know, they'll roll out the first couple of hundred people. They'll roll out the first thousand people, the first 10,000 people over, you know, about three different days to make sure people can upgrade you know, in order and get it all done. No panic, you know, all the timestamps are done from the very, very first free uh, text message that you guys would have got where you timestamp yourself. But, you know, we do have five days to upgrade. Dates just being pushed back a little bit. I wish we launched a month ago because I'm that excited. I want to get into the back office, you know, I want to build the team, train the team, try some products. But, you know, we're in this, guys, for the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. I'm running a marathon with this one. Uh, I may have started with a bit of a sprint, but I'm running a marathon for you know, the next couple of decades. And for me, when I was looking at opportunities, that was my biggest tick box was, where am I gonna be? Where can I see myself? Where can I plant my flag for 20, 30 years in a row? That's really where I wanted to make sure I made the biggest decision. And I'm going to bring out a series of videos over the next few days talking about why I think that'll be the case. And, you know, not to go into big trainings on that right now, but the way I look at um, all the different companies out there launching at the moment, and I'm seeing stuff, you know, weight loss products where you can snap this weight loss into your alcoholic beverage. That sounds pretty cool, but you've got to look at the company behind it. I've seen other great weight loss products and, there's some really good companies out there, but the thing is, right, the industry has been around for 100 years. I've been in it for 27 years. And when that product is no longer new and shiny and sexy, when that company is no longer <clears throat> new and shiny and sexy, and that technology becomes obsolete because something better comes along with weight loss or skincare or whatever it may be, then everyone's looking for a new company again in five years' time because that momentum, that excitement, that build goes away. Uh, and what I said to myself was, we're going to have some incredible products in Shockley, some outs. You, you guys wait, even on the launch, it's going to be incredible. It's going to progress. continue to develop. But when that new shiny light is gone, guess what? People are still going to be buying toilet paper, right? People are still going to be buying toilet paper from my e-store. They're still going to be buying dishwashing detergent, all the products that people need, whether there's a global depression, recession, what are the things that people would continue to buy? And I always said in the industry, if we can come up with a modern day Amway, that's the company to join right now. In fact, it's almost tempting to go back and join Amway. And we have to always see that success leaves clues, right? So Amway became a $15 billion company at its peak. No one has ever beaten that. No one has ever gone over 15 billion. Now it's down to about 8 billion. Why? That's still pretty amazing, $8 billion a year in, in sales, but they haven't really adapted to today's world. You know, it's still a very, very hard and outdated compensation plan. They haven't adapted AI and technology and funnels and these types of things. So I see Shockley has been super refreshing in the industry. Um, it's the company that will always continue to have, in my opinion, the longest and stickiest team builds and residual income. But hey, we've got the modern day Amway here. So, you know, there's lots of different ways we can look at that. Um, but, you know, we're here for the, the marathon, but upgrades will start any day now. Tonight, I'm going to take you through, I'm actually going to unmute a few people today. So I might put a few people on the spot here. Uh, so Chris, uh, maybe get your microphone ready. Uh, Becky, I would love to hear from you. I'm loving what I'm seeing on your Facebook posts. I know sometimes people are in the car or in a meeting, secretly watching the Zooms and, and can't always unmute and get on video. But uh, I might just uh, put a few 
people on the spot because there's some people doing some incredible things. And what I'm going to be talking a bit about today, I want to go through 13, lucky 13, 13 steps to really start to develop your leadership, start to develop your income levels in network marketing, what you can do over the next 30 days to go from, you know what, I'm sort of sitting on the fence. You know what, I kind of want to see the launch of Shopley. I kind of want to see the website. I'm kind of not sure of network marketing for me. I'm pretty part-time. My goal is $1,000 a month. I want you to start to think bigger. I want you to start to think focus. I want you to start to think, you know what, I can do this. And I'm going to give you 13 steps over the next 48 hours, over the next 30 days that you can do to really go from, uh, I'm not sure, to network marketing professional. And it's a training that I've done for probably 15 years now. I've kind of tweaked it a little bit for today. And I'm going to develop it into a team getting started training. So it's kind of going to be like an onboarding session that you can take your team through that'll give them like a blueprint on how to get started because people are like, hey, I'm in this Shopee thing. It sounds cool. I met Travis. He sounds cool. I'm in the Facebook group. What do I do? And if they can have a real blueprint that's duplicatable and different leaders will do different styles of this, but if we can have a base camp of blueprint for getting started for every single person, people won't feel overwhelmed. They won't feel lost and they'll just go through these steps. And it's kind of what I always call base camp. There's not a lot of people that can start, you know, I'm going to go trekking and I'm going to start climbing mountains. Let's go to Mount Everest. You kind of got to start with some lower mountains first and then people work up to getting to the Mount Everest base camp. This getting started training, if people do it and tick it off and develop their leadership, develop their skills, their knowledge, their system, they get to base camp. And if you can get to base camp at Mount Everest, you got every chance of climbing all the way to the top of the network marketing compensation plan. So the first person that I'm going to ask to unmute and speak is the, the number one love child of network marketing, my really good friend, uh, Mr. Travis Flaherty. He's here with us today. You know, Travis is going to run full trainings. Sometimes he won't be on, sometimes I won't be on. Next week, we're going to hear from our in-house AI resident, Mr. Jeffrey Ross. I can't wait to do some team training on AI getting a step ahead of the company training is on AI. So we're going to do a lot of AI training next week for lead generation, leveraging your time, network marketing. That's going to be really, really exciting. Um, so we're going to bring in different speakers, different leadership. No one wants to hear from me all the time. Trust me. No one wants to hear from Travis all the time. And ladies, we've got to get you up the front. I want to hear from female presenters, female perspective. So we're going to bring in lots of different people, lots of different culture, but I tell you what, when you hear from this man, you always learn something, you always get motivated. Travis, what's got you excited right now and, and what gold nuggets have you got for us today, brother? Well, thank you very much, Aaron, for having me. It's great to be here. It's great to see everyone on tonight. And, you know, for me, I um, I wasn't, everybody has been asking, when are we going to upgrade? When are we going to upgrade? And the first observation that I've I've noticed is, I've never had, I don't know about you guys, but I've never had so many people that have been calling me or texting me ready to give money to sign up for a program before. Like it's, it's Aaron, I don't know if you've noticed this, but have you had ever had in your life this many people that are dying to give you money to get started in a program? Well, normally I've got all my like closing techniques ready. I've got all my prospecting <laughs> techniques. I've got my, I've got my takeaway ready. And now I'm just like, guys, just, just put the credit card back in your wallet. No, Aaron, take it now. I don't even care whether we're ready. I want to be, you know, influencer pro. So it's it. I think it's just made a noise in the industry that makes sense. Yeah. Well, listen, here's the thing that I want to say about that is, is, you know, sometimes people can go, oh, what's wrong? Or how, how come we haven't had a chance to upgrade yet? Or what's going on? And here's the thing that I've learned a long time ago. I focus on the things that I can control and I don't worry about the things that I can't control. And so for me, I look at this as I've looked at this as kind of a positive that we've been granted a few extra days to be able to reach out to people and to be able to leverage that time and date stamp and to be able to get them positioned. And you guys have heard me say this before, but I'm not really leading with free. Free is obviously a part of the discussion, but for me, 
it's, hey, listen, you know, I have a unique opportunity to be able to extend an invite to you to be able to get positioned and get a time and date stamp in a company that's going to be launching here in a couple of days in 190 countries around the world. Would you like to have that conversation, right? So, so I want you guys to understand that each and every one of you are privileged to be able to extend an invitation to your friends, to your family members, to be able to be a part of something significant, something special, something transformative in the industry before it even opens the door, right? So, so there's a different way to, or there's ways to be able to present this that that have a huge perceived value attached to it, and dollars always follow value. So for me. You know, um, I'm excited for the upgrade to come, but I'm also excited that it hasn't come yet because at the end of the day, I'm just leveraging the timing of where we are. Um, I just want everyone to to make a decision today. I want you to make a decision about, you know, what do you really want to accomplish here with Shopley? And then I want you to manage that decision, whatever it is. If you want to make, make an extra $500 a month and have this be a nice side hustle for you, great. Make that decision, then manage that decision every single day. If you want to you know, have the biggest build that you've ever had in your life, you want to completely transform your entire lifestyle, you can accomplish that with this opportunity right now. Uh, but make that decision and manage that decision daily. And just understand that when you're you're thinking about the things that you can control, Aaron, for me, I think about what are the two or three income producing activities that I can do that day and I forget about everything else. And, and if you guys know me, I get laser focused, sometimes so hyper focused that, you know, I can just be in a tunnel because, and I was just talking to my friends, the Wiseleys here just a few minutes ago. And I was saying, guys, when I get into launch mode, I almost get it like tunnel vision on. The only thing that I am focused on is conversations that lead to inv invitations, conversations that lead to invitations because I'm in launch mode. When you're in launch mode, you have to bring a different level of enthusiasm to the table. And so I would challenge you guys to do that. Figure out what those income producing activities are for you and make a decision and manage that decision daily. And uh, I can just say, Aaron, I'm super excited about where we're at, excited about launching this with each and every one of you guys. I think this is actually going to be one of the biggest things that network marketing has seen in decades. And uh, and I, I believe that we're all privileged to be here at this stage of the game. 100%. 100%. Thanks for that, Travis. And it's a really good point. You know, it, it might kind of feel like we're in this lull of excitement, 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 date, and then wait, 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 wait. But I've been using these days to bring in as many new people as I can on, on the free invite system. And so that's what I encourage you to look at it is, yeah, if we don't launch an upgrade for another 48 hours, how many more people can you bring in on that free invite system, get them timestamped, before that goes away within you know, probably the next week, right? And so it's not really a time to sit and wait for me, the way I look at it. It's a time to, to bring people on, bring people on. And I've even up to my game on, okay, I'm going back to 10 out of 10 leadership. We're going big here. So that's where I'd be looking at it is, um, okay, I've got a 48 hour challenge here and uh, maybe we should run a 48 hour challenge uh, on how many people can bring the most free invites into the system because it's never been more perfect timing for that. So absolutely great point, Travis. Um, but I really want to hear from, and again, I'm not sure whether Becky, uh, Becky Thames, I don't know Becky well. Um, we just had a, a, a quick introduction and chat back and forth, but I've been watching her on social media. Just let me know, Becky, if you are able to unmute and talk tonight because I'd love to hear from you. Hi, Aaron. can you hear me? There she is. So Becky, I've been loving watching your Facebook post. And here's the thing, guys, is, you know, there's a lot of people that are just going for it, right? Just unbelievable uh, faith and belief and having a go. There's other people sitting. And it doesn't matter where you kind of fit in, but there's one moment in time that we get here. And Becky, I'd love to hear your sort of backstory and where the belief comes from. But Becky's going for it because if I go through people's socials, I can see the odd posts from some people zero posts from others and then becky's just doing like a daily post on shopley and she's taking people through the comp plan uh ai strategy why shopley and so here's the thing guys when a company launches this big you, it's you don't just tap into keywords like uh, best network marketing company to join what how to make extra money people are searching for best leader to join in shopley who do I join in my area in Shockley? Why is Shockley making so many noise? 
And guess what? There's not that many people out there that show up on a YouTube, on a Facebook, on an Insta, on a TikTok. But guess what? Becky does. So guess who they're going to join? Becky. So Becky, what's got you excited and what's been working well for you so far? Awesome. Thank you so much, Aaron. So first of all, every um, video that I just started doing, I started it with Let's Talk Shop. And then I sing to them and I say, all aboard the Shopley train, all aboard, <laughs> all aboard, all aboard the Shopley train, all aboard, all aboard, choo choo. And that's how I start <laughs> my videos. And it's kind of catchy. Actually, when I sang it, my my husband was like, Becky, you know, our son's going to be 21. And that came from Choo Choo Soul back 21 years ago from Disney. So I was like, oh, OK. But anyway, um, online, I'm known as the Amazon queen. And I have taught thousands of people how to sell on Amazon. And I've been in e-commerce since 1999. I saw some random Facebook post from a guy I've never met, didn't know his name, anything. And I watched the video and I was like, actually, I think his name is Get It Boy. Um, that's his username. And that's who I joined. It, I didn't know him. I didn't go looking for the best leader. It Again, just... you, you joined someone that was visible, right? Someone that was visible. That's how big shot you just joined someone that's visible. Yep. So I joined him and um, I, I just get it, right? And so I, I joke, well, I don't joke, I'm, I'm being serious. Literally, they should have named this company Beckley because everything that they offer, I am. Like, mm -hmm. I am a customer first. I'll pull my credit card out first. Number two, I am a business owner. Number three, I am a vendor. I have my own digital products and my own private label products. And I teach people how to make private label products. Number four, I'm so excited. I'm a pointer sister, right? Like I'm an affiliate marketer and I'm a network marketer. So welcome to Beckley. And I'm so glad that you're here. But seriously, um, I'm super excited about Shopley and I just get it. I see the vision. Um, I'm not much of a network marketer as far as this comp plan and do this and do that. I'm like, come with me. I can help. Come with me. I can help. I just want to help people. And if you have I know um, if you help enough people get what they want, you'll get what you want. And so um, I do all of my things part time. I'm actually a scientist and I can retire in five days. So um, I'll have 28 <laughs> years in my industry. I supervise chemists. And so all my extra stuff I do, I just do part time. And I will say we retired my husband in 2016. So he is the backbone of our family and, you know, runs the house. And I don't. I don't cook. I don't clean house. I just make money. I love that. Well, welcome to Beckley, everybody. <laughs> um, change the brand now. So um, that, that's that's locked in. Uh, Angie Rash, let me know if Angie, if you are able to unmute and chat. Um, I know I saw in the notes that she's like, hey, I'm ready to go. Let's get these girl Zooms going. And Angie's been doing some great thing. Are you able to chat, Angie? Yes, sir. I'm oh, excited Andy, to be there here. we go. Love it. So we don't know each other super well either, but I see all these names floating around. And and you know what's fantastic about tonight is I can unmute like 20 people to hear some amazing testimonials of what's working for people. On the first training that we did, I, I don't know who I would unmute because people were like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. So we start to see it evolve. We start to see the leaders putting the hand up. What's working well for you, Angie? And you know what's got you excited? Oh my gosh, my heart is just racing right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so I am a Amazon influencer and a TikTok influencer and have been for the last um, year with Amazon and about six weeks with TikTok. But what I have found for, for me is, um, I mean, I feel like this is the perfect timing of launching something like this because this is what everybody does is we shop online on you know whether it be all I mean there's so many different ones I mean even Timu right mm -hmm. so um and we're going to surpass all of them because none of them offer what we do and so for what is what has been working for me is um and in fact I posted on my Facebook um my wall the other day a copy of an email that I got from a um, somebody who wanted to collaborate with me because they wanted me to make videos and promote their products. And as he was trying to be, I think, trying to make an impression on that, you know, they are a reputable company and they made $300 million last year in their products and 300,000 last month. 
I, I immediately thought <laughs> I need to get them on Shopley. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so, you know, it's it's a numbers game. And so every time I get an email from someone who wants to collaborate, I, of course, am more than willing to do their um, their products and make a video for them. But this is, has been my approach is, um, number one, if they're approaching me from TikTok, I ask them if they are also on the Amazon platform because I am an Amazon influencer and that I would be happy to promote for them on that platform as well. And that, um, and and then when they say either yes or you know, it, it opens up the door to to let them know I am also an affiliate for another platform that is uh, you know going to be launching here, um, and that's kind of what I've been doing. Mm. And um, you know, some people because they haven't heard about it yet. I mean, I get it. That's okay. But I'm planting seeds, mm -hmm. and trust me, they will hear about it, and they will come back. And um, and other people have just been like, "Oh my gosh, what an opportunity! You're telling me that I can make three percent for just for bringing on a vendor to this platform." I said, "Do you realize that we're all got to start with one? Before you know it, we'll have five, and ten, and fifty, and a hundred, and there's no limit." We will never have to work again. And I mean, I, I just think that this this is, I've been waiting for this. You know, I've, I've done network marketing for quite some time and always looking for something that is going to be, not, not to mention that the team is absolutely amazing. And I have so much respect for all of you. So um, that that's what is working for me so far. And I'm really excited to start seeing, um, you know, uh, because I'm going, I'm doing both. I, I am also uh, going on TikTok and, and I am recruiting also um, other digital marketers and affiliate marketers and influencers. So uh, I, I, I'm doing it all. Love it. And so smart, so smart. And you know, Angie mentioned team you there. I had uh, the privilege chatting with one of the executive staff, a uh, guy by the name of Chris Cooper. You guys will get to know him. He's really looking after uh, Asia, most of Asia. And he was talking about how the US is probably like number two in terms of online shopping. He said, Aaron, you have no idea where this is going. Once we tap into greater China, once we tap into Taiwan, this is game over. Now, they're, they're going to be 60% of everything, 60 to 70% of everything Shockley is doing. And he's saying there isn't really, I mean, there probably is, but we're not seeing too many Chinese on the Zooms, on the live events, asking for um, their language to be put in. We haven't tapped into that market yet. And that's one of Chris's jobs. He's living in Indonesia. He's got leaders in Thailand, Malaysia, Taiwan, and we haven't even tapped into that market yet. And he was saying, look, Aaron, I don't even go outside anymore. I don't go to shops anymore. I order everything online. In Asia, we get everything delivered for like $1, $2. He goes, I just want a coffee. I just get online. I order a coffee. It's here within an hour for a $1.20 delivery. Asia's crushing it for online shopping. There's multi-billion dollar companies in China, India, all through Asia, that we haven't even heard of. Forget about the TVs and so forth. And so that's a market that Chris is looking after. It's a market that, hey, if you're sort of sitting there thinking, hmm, wouldn't mind getting ahead of the curve and you've got an hour to prospect, start looking into those markets because if you can find team builder leaders, affiliates, influencers, and, and again, it can be a tougher market to recruit into sometimes with language barriers and relationships and so forth. But I tell you right now, if you find a couple of leaders in those markets, that's where it's going to take off. So super smart. Uh, Mr. Chris Freire, are you there, sir? I always love hearing from Chris. I've got to know him over the last couple of weeks. Uh, been in industry a long time, super excited as a vendor and also as a networker. Uh, are you there, buddy? I am here. Thanks for having me. You'll have to excuse my voice. I don't, I've lost it. I've been talking all day, all day on Zooms, on calls, pretty exciting times. And I don't have that cool Australian accent. So <laughs> we can work on that together. That can be like a once a week, one hour training that we do, you know, throw another shrimp on the barbie, mate. We can do all that <laughs> training along with our scripts and closing techniques. <laughs> that would be awesome. Look, for, for me, this whole thing starts out really with Terry LaCour. Terry LaCour um, has everything you would ever need to be successful. 
with a business. I mean, he's got he's got capital, he's got distribution, he's got a legal team, he's got he owns the bank, he's got everything that you would absolutely need to be successful. And then you've got guys like Ron Williams, who I've known for a long time, and Rod Larson, I've actually known for almost 25 years. I don't know Nick uh, Sarnicola yet, but uh, incredible guy. And they connected me to Aaron and, and Travis and, and just super excited to be here. Um, I call it BYOP. BYOP, bring your own product. I mm. love that. Yeah. Um, a new a new a new term you can coin right there we're actually bringing on fan centric sports which is going to be very very exciting we'll talk about that at a later date but it's really cool that you can take any product onto this platform and have all of you and the hundreds of thousands probably millions very very quickly promote your product it's going to be very exciting as far as recruiting for me Pretty simple. It's easy to start out with, hey, guess what? I found something that you don't have to recruit in. And then now they're now they're listening. They're going, okay, let's let's hear about this, Chris. And, and and the fact is you can bring vendors on all day long. And then they start thinking, and I think it was Travis too. This is kind of what he went through, his his process. I can bring on vendors, but then all of a sudden you say, you know what? I could be successful at this. I bet I know. 10 people, 20 people, and all of a sudden, you're network marketing. So it's pretty exciting. We're bringing the affiliates together, the influencers, and the vendors, bringing them all together. And as far as advice, what I like to do is start every day, day one. This is day one. And look in the mirror. Look in the mirror and say, look, if everyone on my team does exactly what I do today, what does my business look like? Okay, and if, it, if it's nothing, then you better change it. So... Uh, just super excited to to be here. Connecting with Travis and Aaron has uh, already been a blessing and looking forward to uh, building this thing all over. Chris, love it, mate. Love it. Speaking so wisely there and BYO products. If you got nothing out of today, just go and use that one because I love my BYO restaurants because I get to bring my favorite bottle of wine. And that was one of the big tick boxes for me here is there's so many products and services that I want to bring in. I've wanted to do it for 20 years, and we now can. So super excited. Uh, Carmen, are you there? Carmen Broad, I know you're doing some great things. Are you in a position to unmute and chat to us about your incredible leadership? <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Hello, Hello Carmen. Carmen. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, I've just I'm just really excited. I I especially when I listen to everybody else here, I I get more excited. Like I I've been in network marketing for oh like maybe 20 years, I guess. And I've been at the top and failed that many and you know, all over the map. But the biggest thing when I see this, it's, it's exactly what everyone's saying, is it's like it is a new era. It's a new, it's rebirthing of a of a new um of network marketing because there's something here for everyone. And I see it's a way for everyone to win and take it by whatever, you know, whatever part that is their, their strengths are. And I find that really exciting because I know like for many leaders, you know, in other network marketing companies, you're, you're in there and you're making money, but it's, you know, I can sell it. I can ask can my friends and family or my, you know, my, my network. So I just see there's a place for everyone here to win. I'm excited. And yeah, I've never seen anything like it before in my life, actually. Like, I really wasn't sure I was going to really get all in. I just wanted to, didn't want to miss it at first. Now I'm like, I'm all in. I'm excited. So yeah, invite, invite, invite. This is beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carmen. I love it as well. And uh, just love hearing from these different people and different perspectives. And on how I think we got Terry LaCour, executive team, interesting concept to belief going up and up and up. And, you know, obviously the website um and everything going live takes that belief to a whole new level and it brings people sitting on the fence into the game as well so we'll do one more if mr mike tharp is uh now on and mike are you able to unmute and chat to us about what's been working for you and you know what's got you excited about shockley yeah definitely Aaron. happy to be on um, thank you Look for at those Travis, guns, your just leadership. Quietly. Just can, can you can you maybe just bring them up for everyone to see? <laughs> Don't keep them down there because mate, you're Travis, looking ripped at the moment. Travis already told me I had to put the guns away. <laughs> he doesn't he he doesn't want any competition on here. <laughs> um, 
Well, no, first of all, I just want to say like, again, why I love this industry, right? Is I got to speak to Becky about a week ago, um, coach Toby Price, who I, I've met I don't know, about two years ago has been crushing it. And he's like, Mike, Mike, I got the queen of Amazon. The queen of Amazon's joining our team. I was like, I don't know who that is, but it sounds amazing. Um, so he got a, uh, we did a quick three way with Becky and I got to meet her and I'm like, this is amazing. Like when you, when you can just connect with somebody who's already on Amazon, teaching people how to be on Amazon. And now we all get to make money together. I mean, I think the way this is going to connect the world and just get people excited from basically earning up, up to infinite levels. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me, but I think there's a way to do that. Um, okay. But yeah, I mean, so, so I just looked, I'm just, my team alone is over 700 people now, which I'm pretty excited about um, in 43 different countries. <clears throat> so again, you know, like we talk about this all the time, right? This is just the whisper campaign mm -hmm. and we're already seeing this tremendous growth. And then as people like Becky and um, I think Angie was the other one that is already in Amazon. I mean, once the word of this gets out to them, uh, because I asked Becky and she said roughly for every dollar spent on Amazon, about 33% of it is going to Amazon. Yeah. And so if we're, which I, I'm from everything I know, I think we're going to be drastically under that. And that allows us to maybe even have lower prices. It allows us to get sellers, you know, not just focus on Amazon or TikTok shop, but coming to Shopley. And then we're going to have way more incentive, right? Like in order to do stuff, you know, with TikTok shop, you got to build a pretty big audience. You kind of have to treat it more full time. Um, but this will can just allow people just to find like one, one item that they really love or maybe a handful and just really focus on those. And even if they don't have 5,000 followers, $9 a month basically gets them their own, uh, you know, affiliate business that they can, you know, sell anything that we have there. So, I mean, and again, we're the visionaries, right? We're the pioneers because we're excited about this, even when we can't buy it yet. So, I mean, once this thing actually comes to fruition, I think it's going to, I think it's going to be huge and go global and, uh, you know, excited to see you guys on the private Island that Aaron buys for us. Yes, absolutely. That uh, yeah, the deposit is down, mate. So uh, we're looking forward to that one. But yeah, one thing Mike said there, which I think is really important, is you're never gonna have a a better time than right now. Where and then you you kind of got to be honest and go, you know, where am I as a leadership in network marketing? I'm very new to network marketing. I'm new to being an entrepreneur. I'm new to Shockley. But there'll be never a better time where a five out of 10 networker, you know, we say this respectfully, but a five out of 10 networker can recruit a 10 out of 10 networker. And I was on the uh, on a Zoom last night late with some Amway Diamonds that are very, very open and, and very, very close to coming and joining this because like what I said in the beginning, they kind of see it as an upgraded Amway. And yeah, their business has gone backwards. They're starting to struggle the last year or two. And the person that put me onto these Amway Diamonds was a young fella, a young guy that was working with the female part of the husband and wife team four or five years ago. He just reached out, just had the courage, was just smashing out invites, doing his prospecting. And they were in a position in the time in their lives where they were looking. They just looked at the concept and went, oh my goodness, we have to be open to looking at this. He brought me into the conversation because again, he knows his strengths and weaknesses that he probably wouldn't have been able to close the deal. So use the systems, use the tools, use the funnels, use the videos, use your upline to bring in those few more decades of experiences or the scripts or whatever it may be to help build that relationship. And after the call, they were like, whoa, okay, we think we may have to come and do this. Let's let's catch up in person because they're making a big decision. They've been there for 20 years, but, and, and, and I love the person that brought him on and he's been developing, but he's very, very young, very, very new to network marketing and, and diamonds in Amway. There's never been a better time. You fast forward one, two, three, four years down the track, shop is gonna be a bigger, better name. But guess what? A lot of the leaders have looked at it and gone, okay, I'm going to come in. 
So now is not the time to snooze. And like we said, you get a few big leaders on board, particularly in the Asian markets, US markets. I mean, it's game over. So very, very exciting. Thanks for everyone for chatting today. I mean, I just love getting to know the different stories, the different backgrounds, the different personalities. I want to just give this team absolutely everything they can to succeed in terms of systems, templates, funnels, AI, in-person events, like 24 seven around the clock, whatever you guys need, and just create a really great culture. I know in the past in network marketing, sometimes the, the culture can be, you know, a dictator leadership or a boys club or a drama or whatever it may be. So we want to create an incredible culture where we're all working together, upline, sideline, doesn't matter. We're all lifting each other up and, uh, you know, high-fiving each other at events and like what Mike said, on those private islands. And just with that, uh, I'll make an announcement in the next few weeks, but we do have a team influence a team influence retreat planned for Phuket, Thailand for early next year. And it all goes to my genius plan. <laughs> you will also have an affiliate commission where you can promote that. So my vision for it is, you know, we'll have this as a vendor in Shockley. Uh, we will do team retreats, you know, about every 120 days, some exotic, beautiful five-star location around the world that we make affordable, that we go to get to know each other, have fun, kick back, relax, but also learn as well, whether we're learning about health, whether we're learning about beauty, whether we're learning about entrepreneur and put these retreats on, but it's a vendor product. It has 100, 200, 300, $400 for us to promote it. So you might go and promote it to 10 friends outside of Shockley that, yeah, yeah, I'll come to Phuket with you. I'd love to learn about public speaking, AI and social media. And that sounds like a pretty well-priced trip. Well, what if it was a $300 affiliate commission? You got to keep 100% of it. You got 10 friends to come. Now you just got $3,000 for going to Phuket. Who likes that concept? And we do it every 120 days. And then, of course, you know, some people in your team will come. They'll benefit from the training. That's a very sticky business because if you go on a trip to Phuket together and have fun, no one's leaving your business, like ever. Particularly if they get value from that. Particularly if they get on TikTok and go, guys, I just went to Phuket for free. It cost me three grand. I made three grand. You want to know how? This is the vision that, that I have. Um, that we're working towards. So stay tuned for that. Right, I'm going to get out to change gears. I'm going to share my screen. I just want to give a, a couple of gold nuggets uh, if I can today just to share with you guys. This is a sort of a, a similar training to what I've done. Just let me know if you can see my screen there uh, and we'll get stuck into this. It's sort of 13 steps that, as I said in the beginning, if you can really look at this, I would screenshot it, take notes, just write down the title of each 13 steps and just sort of say to yourself, where am I at on this step? Do I have this down packed? Like, do I have my scripts and my story down packed? Do I have the knowledge of the compensation plan down packed? Where am I at my leadership levels? And this is what I did when I sort of saw this training many, many years ago was to give myself an honest I guess, um, accountability of where I was on each step. I did the same when I read Thinking Grow Rich. If you look at all the steps in Thinking Grow Rich, I pinned it up on my wall and I said, where am I at with each one of these 13 steps? And I just worked my business life through the Thinking Grow Rich steps. So I haven't seen in the chat whether you can see my screen or not. Just give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, let me go back to my video. I can see Elizabeth Hicks said, can you see my screen, Elizabeth? All right, awesome. Uh, people are going to sleep on the chat. Thank you, Deb. All right, 13 steps, uh, next 30 days. Sheep wait for the leaders to lead the way. Leaders are already there. Become a leader today. So step number one, I, I can't emphasize this point enough to get your team connected. Your team will, they'll join up in a free link and then they'll go into the witness protection program. You'll wonder where they went. If you can introduce your team to your upline, guess what? They're going to go, ah, oh, this is not just an Elizabeth thing, a little business that she's joined. There's some billionaire behind this and there's this person and this person and this person. And 
I jumped on a Zoom today with 50 people. There might be something in this. I see a lot of networkers, either beginning networkers or you know networkers with an ego that say, hey, I just enrolled the Amazon queen. I'm not gonna introduce her to anybody because they might try and steal her on the sign up or they might try and take the credit for training or recruiting her. And so they keep it all really in-house. It's one of the worst things that you could do because that engagement, that stickiness, that loyalty will be there when they get introduced to a Facebook group with a thousand people, a Telegram chat with 500 people. They start to see the YouTube tools, the other team, the templates, the scripts, and you know whatever other tools that we put into place that the company has into place, get them connected with that straight away. And if you feel like it's a big fish or an entrepreneur or a go-getter or an influencer, introduce them to your upline formally as well, whether that's a, a voice message on our Facebook, whether it's a text, phone call, Zoom, and maybe introduce them to, if it's a female, try and find an upline female because obviously that attaches really well. If it's a male, sometimes you kind of attach them to someone that you think they'll really see eye to eye, you know, same tribe. That works really, really well. But tap them into all the systems that we've already put into place the, the corporate telegram, our team telegram, the YouTube channels and so forth. Um, that's going to be really, really important. So that's step number one. I think a lot of you guys are doing this really, really well and we'll have more and more tools uh, over the next coming weeks as well. Number two, this goes back to anything that you do in your life. But I find people get slack with this. So again, what are your goals for 2024? You should be starting to think about what are your goals for 2025 and beyond. I mean, if you look on my wall, I've got my Shockley goals, I've got my entrepreneurial goals, I've got a five-year plan, I've got a 12-month plan, I've got what's my income producing assets and activities that I can do right now. So I'm very organized and focused. And this is what got me to the top of the network marketing inside the top 80 income earners in the world in 2015, because I wrote down my goals and then I would read, I, remember you hear about a lot of these things in seminars and you go, yeah, that's a good idea, I should do it. And then you don't do it. You don't do it consistently. Or you get to a stage of success where you get comfortable and you stop doing it. I remember reading a book called Richest Man in Babylon. Let me know in the chat if you read Richest Man in Babylon. And in this book, it talks about paying yourself first paying yourself first. So most people, they get their electricity bill, they pay that, they pay the rent, they pay their staff, they pay the water bill. And then at the end of the month, guess what? There's not much money left over. And the concept of paying yourself first, when I was maybe 22, I must have heard this concept a hundred times at seminars and in books. And whether it was just the hundred and first time, whether the way it was put in Richest Man in Babylon spoke to me, but I went, you know what, I'm actually going to go and do that. And so I was in the gym scene at this time. Every month where I got my memberships, I went and paid myself 20% of that gross amount that came in. And I put it into a savings account and I didn't touch it. And guess what? I still paid my rent. I still went out for dinner. I still went to a club on a Saturday night. I still bought clothes. At the end of the month, I still had no money until my next check. But guess what? I put 20% aside every single month that's how I bought my first property and my second gym. And I've been hearing about this for years. And it's a little bit like with goal setting. I used to hear about, don't just write down your goals. I mean, that's a great first step. It just seems a little bit more organized. But the thing with goals is it's all about your subconscious mind. If you can get your subconscious mind believing that you're already there, that is when you'll get there. So don't say, hey, I'm going to be a global influencer by August 2025. You would read it out loud by saying, I am a global influencer in Shockley. It feels absolutely incredible. I love putting 250000 in my bank account every single month. You're saying it as if it is already done. You have already achieved it. I did this concept back in the, the mid-2000s, and so... Back when I'd sold my last gym, I was still pretty broke. I was living in Melbourne, freezing cold weather, having a go at network marketing, and I'd get up every single morning. I'd wait till no one was in the house because it felt a bit weird. 
but I would say I'm living in Noosa. The weather here is beautiful. It's 30 degrees first thing in the morning. I've just gone out from the boat. I've had a swim. I've just put 100,000 in my bank account for the month. Life is great. And it's all about feelings. You know, it feels great. It feels great to be home with the kids. It feels great to be a stay-at-home dad. It feels great to have freedom. It feels great to achieve my goals. I love being a global influencer. And I swear I could hear my subconscious mind going, what are you talking about, you loser? You're broke. You're living in Melbourne. It's freezing cold. You're not a top networker. And I could... And then I could sort of feel like my subconscious was getting a bit scrambled. And then I went, oh, okay, not sure when that happened. We must have been sleeping, but this dude's living in Noosa. He's earning a hundred grand a month. Okay. And three years later, I was at the top of the comp plan, making seven figures, living in Noosa, living in my dream house. That's a whole nother story for another time about the dream house. But when I did this exercise consistently, within three years, it was a reality. You guys can do this in 12 months. I took it a step further, actually, and I recorded myself saying every single one of my goals out loud as if it had already happened. And when I went to sleep at night, I would listen to my voice saying it back to me because your subconscious is really active at nighttime. Guys, I'm just telling you this stuff works. And you might have heard it before, but actually, are you doing it every single day? I just wanted to really emphasize that because without that, you've got nothing. Okay, number three, organize time and system. So literally sit down, like what Travis said the other week, he has in his diary with an alarm that goes off, this is my prospecting time. So he's not gonna answer the door, not even if the dog groomer is there, not even if someone is coming over, he's just prospecting, he's in, he's in a tunnel vision, right? So you need to sit down and it doesn't matter if you only have five hours a week, but you've gotta be all in on those five hours. You've got to be focused. One company, one system, one, just get focused on this. Five hours a week, 10 hours a week. 20 hours a week is a really nice number if you want to hit full-time income. 20 hours a week is a really nice number. Okay, so making sure you know the system. Okay, I need to get into the Team Influence Facebook group. Every single link I need to know is in the featured section of that Facebook group. Tap into Telegram. What videos am I sending to people? When is Aaron available to help me on a Zoom? Launch my business, Travis, Upline, Candace, whoever it may be. Know the system and don't feel like, you know, you're hassling an upline or you're not sure. Just go for it. Just get in there. But you need to have a system that works for you. You need to be consistent and you need to be organized. This is super, super important. I always see these Facebook ads around at the moment saying, is your upline telling you to make a list? That's dead, that's old school. And of course they're gonna say that because they have a course to sell, teaching you about social media and AI and funnels. And all of that is really important today in 2024. You're kind of crazy if we don't learn how to prospect and get leads online these days. But this will always be relevant. Because if you really believe in Shopley 100%, you've got one, two, 10, 20 entrepreneurial friends that you can bring on as a vendor that might be interested in the networking side of it, that might be influencers. Are you just not going to tell them about that? And so, yeah, we're going to do funnels and Facebook ads and SEO and, and all sorts of things. We're going to make videos go viral. But who's on your list? This is like going and doing your shopping and remembering what you need to buy for the fridge, for the cupboard. You're not going to remember everything. So go old school, write down a list of your dream team and go and contact them. Like we said, there's never been a better time to bring on a big fish. Start at the top, like the movie Pursuit of Happiness. Have you guys seen that? Where he's, he hasn't got time to go through all the lower. He goes straight to the top with the CEO and he ends up getting the job because he brought on the biggest fish. So write this down and we'll do all the funnels and, and, and everything as well. But this will always be a thing. So get organized with that. We sort of spoke about this. We want to learn this. What I love about Shopley is they're bringing it to us from a corporate point of view. They're going to bring us the best in social media, funnels, AI, lead gen, social media, SEO, all those types of things. So we definitely want to go modern as well, right? This is something that I hear many networkers speak about, getting an accountability partner. 
I think one of my big reasons for success in my last company was I did it with one of my best mates and we just had fun. We had so much fun building the business together, but not that it was ever really spoken about, but we were pretty competitive as well. So if he enrolled someone, I'd want to enroll two people. If he enrolled two, I'd want to enroll four. If he enrolled four, I wanted to enroll five. So it's great to have an accountability partner. That can be a good friend, a family member. It can be your upline. It can be a mentor that you either pay for or, or don't pay for outside of Shopwick. But it's lonely doing it by yourself. And your chances of quitting or just parking your actions when things get tough, when you have a bad day, are like a thousand percent greater when you haven't really got an accountability partner, a mentor or an upline that you're working closely with. So don't underestimate this one. It'll make the business fun. It'll make you accountable to something. And what is measured is improved. So try and have little mini competitions with your accountability partner, your friend, your upline. Uh, but you know, within Shopley, this is one of the biggest things I love about network marketing is you can get seven figure mentors for free. Just make sure you tick this one off in some shape or another. All right, let's go. Start inviting, start closing, start enrolling. All right, obviously. So we want to upskill our closing techniques. We want to, there's never been an easier time to enroll. It's free. All right, so let's get this one going. In the chat, I'm just going to go there and check in a section in a minute. What would you invite people to right now? Let me know what's working for you in the chat. Are you sending the new three minute video? Is the live Zoom opportunities what's working for you? Is it phone calls? Is it your own private Zooms? Are you working closely with your upline to help close and enroll? Is it whatever it is? I know a couple of people have set up some really nice looking funnels already. Um, just make sure you check with the compliance department on that as we move forward. But people are just going for it and they're enrolling, they're closing. Uh, and you know, the upgrade conversation is going to be super important on that as well. This is going to be important as you go along the journey. Yes, you can send out a bunch of invites. Yes, you can get your upline to help you close the deal. But as you grow and tick off the boxes over the next 6, 12, 24, 36 months, it's going to get harder to enroll a 10 out of 10 in network marketing, but you'll be able to do it because you've now become a 7 out of 10 as a leader, an 8 out of 10, a 9 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. And so it's important, and I've got a bunch of network marketing books that I could recommend to you. You want to get really specific on reading those. I'm, I, I love listening to a podcast during a workout. I can't remember the last time I put on music on my workout. I will listen to a podcast about network marketing, about business, about property, about mindset. But you want to get your knowledge up on Shockley. You want to get your knowledge up on the industry and you want to get your knowledge up on mindset growth. If you can go into those three areas, then you'll always push forward as a leader when times get tough. You'll be seen as an incredible leader because you know everything about Shockley. Every time your team asks a question, when someone asks a question in the Facebook, you're answering it. And you'd be amazed at the loyalty and the respect levels that people have when you can just answer questions about the comp plan, the vendor, the products, the back office about other companies in the industry and why you chose Shopley over them. This is when you'll start to enroll some big players. So always be wanting to upskill and get your knowledge up. I would highly encourage you to set a launch date. And you might think, oh, Aaron, you know, I've already called people. Yeah, the launch is coming up with the corporate. I don't mean that. I mean, you might have enrolled three, five, 10 people already. Launch your business. So get together with your team, get together with your upline and launch your business. Is that going to be in person? You've hired a room in your local community and you've invited 30, 40, 50 people to come along. Is it a Zoom because you're more of a Zoom person? You've got an international audience. You're going to launch your business to the world. Um, there's lots of different ways. You can have people over at your house, you know, old school house party. That's not really my style that that can work really well if you're really into networking in your local area as well. But if you want to open a bakery, a gym, a jewelry shop, a paint shop, you don't just open the doors. 
and you put up balloons and you say, hey, launching under new management. You put on a night, you invite the local community along, you do a letterbox drop, you do a newspaper ad, you bring people into your store, you offer you know, a free piece of jewelry for everyone that comes in. You launch, you let people know, hey, we are here, we are here for the community, I'm passionate about my business, this is the products that we have, this is the opportunity that we have. So I highly encourage you to pick a date where you're like going, you know what, I reckon I can get 30 people on a Zoom. I reckon I can get 50 people on a Zoom. I'm going to reach out to Aaron, get him to present. I'll introduce because they're what my war market and I'm launching. And then you've got 10 new enrollments. And then you do another one and another one and another one. Think about how you're going to launch your business. And I know some people are waiting for the website to go live, for the products to come in, et cetera, et cetera. But pick a date and formally launch your personal business. Do it with your team. Get some numbers on board. Become a product of the product. You've probably heard that in the industry. So what, and when I say this, you know, you're a product of Shopley. You've shopped online, it got shipped to you, it was exciting. You might hone in on one, two, three, four, five, six products that you really love, that you order every month, that are affordable, that are giving you a weight loss result, a skincare result, a health result, whatever it may be become a product of the product in one sense or another. Otherwise, I've always found it super hard for other people to get belief in the Shopley website, in the comp plan, in that skincare product, whatever it may be. So we really want to hone in on this, you know, over the next 30 days. And finishing off, you know, keep on upskilling always. It's a bit like we talked about with your knowledge and your leadership. So all the objections that people may have, which are a lot of the time, just questions in disguise. The biggest networkers will be the most skeptical, the most arrogant, so to speak, the hardest to enroll, ask the most questions. That's a good sign, a really, really good sign that they're really considering joining and building. But you also need to have the skills, might not be today because you get your upline on a call with them, but at some point in time, you want to be able to handle the objections. And I've got a whole training that goes for an hour on how to handle objections. What are your scripts? What's your story? What's your elevator pitch? Online skills, whether we outsource this, whether you learn SEO, whether you learn how to get a video to go viral with AI, whether you outsource that. Presenting, getting on Zooms, doing what I'm doing and doing it well because you're practicing, you get, you're learning skills on this, you're doing courses on this. Duplication, prospecting, closing. These are all things you wanna to continue to upskill. If I said to, you know, Elizabeth, I've just jumped into a um, lift with her. We're going up to the fifth floor. It's going to take 26 seconds to get there. I turn to Elizabeth and say, hey, nice to meet you. What do you do for yourself? Elizabeth has 26 seconds to tell this person what she does for a living, but also do it in a way that they turn around and go, oh, that sounds like something I might be interested in. No worries, here's my business card, got to get off on the fifth floor, but please feel free to call me. So this is a skill. You might think that if Richard Branson got into a lift with you and said, hi, how are you doing? What do you do with yourself? That you could go boom, 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 boom. But most people will go, uh, um, well, I, I've got this, this, this thing. Well, I've, I just started this thing called Shockley. I mean, you could, I guess you could be, a, well, you don't have to be a vendor, but you could, it, it, there's two members, well, there's one membership if you want to be an influence pro, okay, that, Bang, we're on the fifth floor, you've lost that opportunity. So it's an actual skill that you need to practice. What I would do is I would write down your, like a 10 second version and a 30 second version of what is it that you do? And so that you can just reel it off exactly the same, almost to the second when someone says, hey, what do you do for a living? And you're running to pick the kids up from school, you're in a line at the cafe, you're in a lift. This is all skills. Presenting, they're all skills. And plan and attend these trainings. So lock them in your diary every single week. We know when the team trainings are on. We know when the opportunities are on. There will be live events in your region. I know Nick is coming to Australia soon and running events here in Australia. I want to tap into that stuff. I know Chris is running events in Asia and they will have events coming up in Dallas. I can't tell you how much your business will explode if you go to these events and take 10 people with you. Absolutely huge. And lastly, guys, number 13, just keep on developing your leadership. So all of those things 
will take you from a four to a five to a seven to a 10 in leadership. The old John Maxwell leadership training. I highly recommend you do that uh, as part of your training. John Mac uh, is amazing. So guys, that's kind of what I, I go through with people. Um, I can do it in a sense of specifics to Shopley, hone down on that. Uh, I've got like a 10 minute version. I've got like a 90 minute version. But I would just go through each one of those steps and just go, where am I at with that skill set? Where am I at with that? Where am I, am I tapping into this one? And even pin that up and just go, right, if I can be a 10 out of 10 on all of those 13 areas, I'm really at base camp in a big way. And I remember learning about that and you get slack on some of those things. So guys, uh, we're on the hour. I really appreciate everyone that unmuted today. Uh, I love sharing the Zooms with people. I can't wait to have other people like, uh, like Jeff next week sharing his insights on AI. He's got like a course. He's actually going into Shockley as a vendor with his AI course. So we're really lucky to have him on here. And, and for me, these are all things that I want to learn specifically because my, my version of AI today is pretty much chat GBT and maybe dabbling in a few other areas. And I use it to help me write, you know, brochures and books and eBooks and those types of things. Um, but there's so much more to it. My goodness, there's so much more to what I like with images and videos and lead gen. I spoke to a lady the other day who just started a property business and she said, Aaron, I don't speak to any of my leads anymore at all until they are locked in, qualified, ready to buy. Then they've booked a time in my calendar and every single call is just about a hundred percent close. And she said, I was a bit nervous in the beginning because I was worried they'd get the questions wrong or speak wrong. And she says, we've trained this AI through the Q&A and through my personality. She said, I wouldn't answer the questions any other way. It's exactly what I would say. And everyone, it saved me so much time, so many tire kickers. And there's so many things that we can do for lead gen closing. And uh, I'm really excited to hear from Jeff. And I know there's probably 20 people on this call that could all present you know, a different topic public speaking, social media, Amazon influencing, closing, mindset. Uh, I'm really looking forward to sharing that uh, with every one of you guys. We always record these. They go up on our team YouTube channel for reviewing. Pause, play, pause, play, pause, play. They go into our Facebook group and our Telegram. So always know that, but encourage your team to get on these. Same with the opportunity calls, whether you've got prospects on them or not. We all know that 60 people on a Zoom converts better than five people on a Zoom. So we all support each other, get behind these calls. And, you know, some people just don't want to do it. You know, a lot of people say, man, there's too many Zooms, there's too much time. That's okay, don't do it. But also expect to get the results of not doing it as well. Um, you know, nothing is going to be hard work. Yes, we want to leverage our time with AI. Yes, we want to work smart. Yes, we want to have funnels. Yes, we want to have uh, qualified leads but nothing will ever 200 years from now beat work ethic. Thanks, Paula. Now we'll definitely get you on, Paula, onto these Zooms. Uh, you know, the great thing is everyone's got a different style. Uh, we don't all want to have the same style, so that works really well. Awesome, guys. All right, guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next week.